Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create S3 bucket using Terraform in AWS Cloud. So if you look at the use case, we are going to use Terraform, which I have set up in my EC2 instance. You see here, this is a EC2 instance. I have already installed Terraform. So using this Terraform, we are going to write Terraform scripts or Terraform files in order to create S3 bucket in AWS Cloud. So how are we going to achieve that? So you can, you can do it in a couple of ways, right? So you can access AWS Cloud using access keys and secret keys, okay? But I don't recommend that because I already have my EC2 instance, you know, set up in AWS Cloud. So I don't need to use access keys and secret keys, right? So what is the recommended option? The recommended option is to use an IAM role, right? So create this IAM role with this policy, Amazon S3 full access policy. So that is the approach we are going to use in this particular video. So if you look at my EC2 instance, I have already created this IAM role. Okay, and look at the policy. So this policy has been attached to, to that IAM role. So that is what we are going to use in this particular video. Okay, awesome. So let's get started. So guys, if you look at my GitHub repository, so this is where you know you can download the entire code. Right? So this is the code, but if you want to write, of course, right? So you can also follow, follow my instruction over here. Okay. All right. So let me do one thing. Why don't I go ahead and then clone this repository, right? So this is my EC2 instance. Okay. So if you see here, this is my Terraform version. Okay. So that is the, that is my Terraform version. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly clone my repository, right? So, and this is a public repository, obviously, right? So you can clone it. You don't need to have any uh, uh, access keys or anything like that. You can directly clone. So let me go here and then clone, copy the URL, and then git clone. Awesome. And then you would be able to access my repository. Perfect. Okay, so, so if you see here, so the S3 folder is there. That is where we have all the Terraform files has been set up. So let's quickly review one by one. So if you see here, yes, I do have variables file defined. So if you see here, yes, I do have all the variables defined. So basically, so this is the region, right? So that is the region I'm going to use. And then I do have something called bucket prefix. So I will explain you why I use bucket prefix let me actually go to the main.tf so if you look at the main.tf right so the way we are going to use terraform uh, terraform in order to create s3 bucket right so we are using something called bucket prefix so that is the value we are going to read from the variable file so this is this is the prefix right so so this is a recommended approach because you know, you can also use bucket and then provide the bucket name, but the problem is, right, you need to make sure that the bucket name is unique, right, across, across, you know, the global, right? So that is very hard to get. So that's the reason why, you know, we are going to use the prefix, okay? So whenever Terraform is going to create S3 bucket, it is going to create with this prefix and with some random number, okay? So that is what it is going to create. And then I also have a tax variable defined, right? So it's kind of a map. So that is what I have declared here. And then the versioning. So this is more like a Boolean uh, variable. So that is what I have mentioned, which is like a true. And then ACL, which is more like a private, right? So if you don't specify that, I mean, again, it is going to default to private only, okay? So these are the variables uh, which we have defined, which we are going to use that in main.tf, okay? So I will come back to main.tf in, in a bit. And then let's quickly go and uh, see the output files as well right so let me quickly go there so this is the output.tf file where i wanted to write something to the output right so basically i wanted to print the bucket name as well as you know the region along with it right so that's all so these are the two variables you know i wanted to write into the output files okay and then this is our main.tf file right which is obviously which is also over here i mean it's the same file right so basically, if you look at the main.tf file, okay, so if you see here, obviously, right, so this is a region which we are actually picking up from the variable file, okay, and then 
this is the uh, variable which we are picking up right we talked about the prefix and then so this is nothing but uh, you know uh, this would be more like a private uh, and then this is the versioning right which is a boolean boolean value okay which is a true we we did set up true in the variable file and then this is like a tags right so that's all it's a very simple uh, terraform script in order to create s3 bucket right so there's nothing fancy about it so if you're wondering how did i get this code right this, this is very simple if you go to google if you type uh, you know create s3 bucket using terraform so if you look at the very first link see so that is the code right there right so it's, it's not that difficult to get uh, you know uh, terraform script in order to create any resources in aws cloud or azure cloud okay so it's pretty straightforward but i don't want to hardcore like this that's the reason why you know i have created a variable files and then you know output files and whatnot okay all right so so that's pretty much right that's pretty much on the terraform uh, script so we have three terraform files which we are going to use in order to create s3 bucket okay so now let's go ahead and then get started right so yes we have created see you can also use this so we have created everything and then all we have to do is go ahead and then initialize terraform folder so that is going to download the necessary plugins and whatnot you see guys so terraform has been successfully initialized so perfect and then we are going to go ahead and then create uh, our, our plan right let's execute terraform plan command so what plan command is going to do it is going to read the terraform files and then it is going to say it is going to do what right so it is saying that you know it is going to create s3 bucket with this name okay and then it is also says that it is going to write to the output right so, so remember we are printing the bucket name as well as the region okay so perfect and then you can go ahead and then say terraform apply okay so everything is good see it is doing the plan again and then it is asking for us our confirmation and then go ahead and then type yes awesome you see guys so our bucket has been created and then you can see the bucket name right so remember this was the prefix we have provided and then this is the kind of a random digit right so that is what you know we are actually using it and then this is a region so you can actually log into uh, AWS console go to s3 right so I'm actually in the s3 and then there you go see that so this is the s3 bucket which which we just created right? right so you can just click on here so we also enabled versioning and whatnot right yeah see that so versioning is enabled and whatnot right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you know you can go ahead and then create s3 bucket using terraform in aws cloud right and then as a good practice once you have created if you want to destroy go ahead and then say terraform destroy right so this is going to clean up whatever has been created using terraform right so yeah so that's it guys thank you for watching this video